All right, so I'm 13, and most of the time when someone my age gets a package in the mail, it's a bit different than what I get, so I thought I might as well show you. Just got an Amazon box. Fine glassware. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Actually, I haven't been waiting for very long to arrive, just for it to be ordered. And I guess that's my fault. Anyways, guess what it means by fine glassware. Alright, it says don't use a blade, don't use blades, and it shows a razor blade. So, of course, I go with the classic kitchen knife. And no, I am not joking. First thing on the top for your first clue, uh, this. Didn't even know these came with this. Um, they're little labels. Yeah, probably not going to use them for this purpose, but good to have. Now, pause the video now and guess what I got. I'm going to open this up from the side. Alright. Got to get this thing out. Alright, here we go. Mason jars. That's right. I just got mason jars. Why? I run a terrarium business. And I make terrariums all the time. So getting six mason jars and finally finding ones that don't have stuff on all of the sides but instead have a clear side is actually really exciting. Especially seeing that a six pack was only $20. Am I using these ones to sell? No, I'm using them for a science experiment for my science fair project for school where I'm testing if more developed or more elaborate microfauna will be more efficient in a closed terrarium setting. But yeah, still, thought it might be fun. Is this what you were guessing? And yes, I did open it upside down. Oh my god, look what I realized it comes with. I flipped it back to the right side up, and it comes with a little marker to write on the little labels. That's hilarious. This marker actually works fairly well. I'm surprised. Let's see how it works on these. Definitely works. Let's wipe off. Yes, that's good. Also, please note, I will be using the styrofoam. It will not just be thrown away. I will use it for some of my larger tanks to either make a background for a nano tank. And I will definitely be making some uh, morning gecko and crested gecko food dishes out of it. Of course, heat treating it to melt it down to a appropriate size and hardness. But yeah.